Hello everybody and welcome back to our Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion playthrough. I'm your host Van 4. You find us where we left off in the last one. We're in Breville. We're about to head over to Anvil, I think, and find out who this traitor is that's been systematically sending me off to kill members of the Dark Brotherhood uh, in actual fact high-ranking members of the Dark Brotherhood. Now, there's a dead drop that's going to be made over here. Specifically in this container. But I have to wait to see who it is that drops it off. Uh, and let me just check at what sort of time that's supposed to be. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Once there, I should wait near the barrel behind the statue in the pond. Okay, well, I'm, I'm right next to the barrel. I'm not sure if this is a triggered event, like... But I suppose I can just wait here. It's going to be a, around the early hours of night time, I'm sure. Probably later than that, to be fair. Aha! I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. It was the robed man. He... He paid me to put those things in the barrel. Uh -huh. I don't know his name, and his face was in shadow. He called to me yesterday as I walked by the lighthouse. I think he lives there. Or he did, anyway. He told me he was leaving Anvil. I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Yeah. Get out of it. Tell me everything or die. It's just outside the city walls. I think the robed man has lived there for quite some time. In, in the cellar. I don't know what goes on down there. But there's a horrible smell coming from underneath that door. It's like something died inside. Probably Listen, something did that's die all inside. I know, really. Maybe Ulfgar Fogai can tell you more. He's the lighthouse keeper and probably rented out the cellar. Talk, talk to Ulfgar. He's sure to have the key to the cellar. You know, if if you want to get down there. Now please, just let me go. Okay, I'll let you go. Just, just leave. He's given me the gold and the next dead drop orders, which of course we can ignore. But let's just see what the uh, next dead drop orders were. So it was number eight. So Ongolir is dead. Sansa, you've served me far better than I could ever have imagined. Is there no challenge you can't meet? No opponent you can't best? We shall see. Your next target is a high off whore named Arquin. She has been difficult to locate, but you might try asking around the Grey Mare in Coral or at the Bridge Inn in Chadenhall. Like all of your targets, Arquin is a skilled fighter and will not be eliminated easily. When Arquin is dead, I will have your reward in your next contract waiting at the next dead drop under one of the beds in Leowing Coast Guard Station. But of course, that dead drop... Apologies for that. Game crashed. Luckily, it auto-saved just before the guy turned up. So let's just go ahead, re-wait, and then I'll uh, I'll just skip the dialogue because obviously we've seen it already. And then we'll get into it here. How blooming annoying! Right, da 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 da. Tell me about the lighthouse. Da da da. Done and dusted. Take all. And then let's move on quickly because this is annoying me over to the anvil lighthouse i don't know what it is about my uh, uh machine recently that just keeps crashing in this game but uh luckily i didn't have to record everything again okay Let's see if we can't find rongolith or whatever his name was i think he's upstairs if memory serves correctly. There he is. Well now. Ulf girl, what rather. You want? Uh I want the key to the cellar. Oh, do you now? And just why should I give you that? So if you don't, I'm gonna run you through. 
Oh, well, in that case, um, here you go. Yeah, exactly. And then, uh, since we're outside, I can just fast travel back to the, uh, the lighthouse. Puts me down at the bottom. So I've obtained a key to the Anvil Lighthouse cellar where the traitor has been living. I must unlock the cellar door and proceed down so I may continue my investigation. And I believe it's either around the back here. No, it's at the bottom. There we go. I'm going to quick save. So I've gained entry to the Anvil Lighthouse cellar. I must now search the cellar for some clue to the Dark Brotherhood traitor's identity or motives. Let's get in stealth because I can't remember if this guy has guards or not. There's a dead dog down here though. Dead sheep. An iron war axe. Some body parts. Lovely. How did I miss? There we go. Dead rat. A couple of chests. Absolutely nothing in them. Unknown victim. Nothing in him either. Oh, there's a repair hammer in there though. I'll take that. Thank you. I'll take my steel arrow back. And then what do we have here? Mother's head. It's pretty grim. Let's take the head. And there's a traitor's diary. Here we go. It's all right, mother. It's almost over. I'm close, so very close. How long have we struggled? How long have we waited? Too long, I know, but it's almost over, I promise. Then lots of kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeah, this guy's a bit effed up. So I've discovered the traitor's diary. He has been in the Dark Brotherhood for years and is now a member of the Black Hand. His goal is revenge against Lucian Chance and all of the Brotherhood for the murder of his mother when he was a child. And he has actually plans on killing the Night Mother. I must return to Lucian Chance at once at the farm called Apple Watch and give him this information. So I probably need to take this with me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> So let's head over to Apple Watch now. <clears throat> Hello, Shadowmere. But unfortunately, we aren't going to be able to sign in with Lucian. And here's why. Silencer, at last you've arrived. Fear not, for the crisis that has threatened the Dark Brotherhood has finally come to an end. And you'll notice Arquin... I am Arquin, speaker for the Black Hand. As you can see, we have dealt with the betrayer, Lucian Lachance. No longer will you serve as his puppet. It seems Lachance wanted revenge against the Dark Brotherhood for some reason, and used you to do his dirty work. Yeah, you're ill-informed. now we can begin anew. I bestow upon you the title of Speaker. You will take Lucien Lachance's place on the Black Hand. Welcome. Well, As you know, the Black Hand is now in a state of disarray. Lachance ordered you to kill us off. We five, including you, are now all that remain. Even worse, you killed the listener! The black hand without a listener is like a hand with no thumb. Even the listener's successor is dead. So, we have no choice but to invoke an ancient ritual. We must wake the Night Mother from her slumber and seek her guidance. Between the hours of midnight and 3 a.m., ask me about the Night Mother, and we will away to Our Lady's home. Only then will the ritual begin. Right. Okay. Now what I was going to say before we were rudely interrupted, Arquin was the name of the person that we had to assassinate from the Dead Drop Orders number 8. May the Night Mother hold you in her cold embrace. May we forever serve the Night Mother. And I think you are like an unholy vision. So beautiful. It's this guy who's the traitor. 
And I've got a feeling that you can uh, Hello, fellow speaker. disturb Welcome him somewhat. Black hand. So nice to see you're in one piece. By showing him uh, mother's head or dropping it at his feet, maybe. I can't remember what it is. But look, that's what's left of Lucian. They've absolutely mullered him. He has no, no jaw. It's been gouged and poked at and all sorts. Losing the chance has been murdered, stripped and mutilated by the Black Hand. Apparently they thought he was the traitor and punished him accordingly. If we also check our inventory quickly, as you know we got upgraded. <laughs> I say upgraded, you know, we've uh, we've been upped in rank. We are now Speaker for the Dark Brotherhood. We've been given both the Black Hand hood and robe. Whilst they have a lot better effects on them, they have absolutely no armour whatsoever. So, in essence, I'll probably just end up dropping them. Even though they don't really weigh much. Actually, no, they do weigh a bit, so. I don't want them. I don't need them. It's just a waste of time. Right, so between midnight, I think she said, and 3 a.m. So that would be 9 a.m. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1 a.m. will do. Come on. Right. There we go. Dear speaker, when dark Yeah, okay, whatever. Night mother. The night mother must be awakened so that we may seek her guidance. Are you ready to travel now to her resting place? Of course. Let's go. Very good. And so it begins, the black hand's journey into a darkness few can imagine. Let us be off. The night mother awaits. And uh, where is it that we're going to end up? Outside our last murdering spree area. This is where we killed that Behold wood elf. The, night mother. the locals call this statue the lucky old lady. They have no idea how lucky they really are. For this stone effigy masks the entrance into the Dark Brotherhood's most revered unholy site. The Crypt of the Night Mother herself. Ooh. In a moment, we will begin. I will recite an incantation, and we can proceed down into the crypt and seek an audience with the Night Mother. I know this is all very overwhelming, dear child. Just follow along, and you'll be fine. Now, let's go see what the future holds, shall we? Yeah, go ahead. But this is really creepy. Unholy Watch nature. the statue. We of the Black Hand beseech you. Reveal yourself now, most magnificent Night Mother, so that we may seek your guidance. <laughs> the incantation has revealed the hidden door to the Night Mother's crypt. I must follow the other members of the Black Hand down into the crypt. Once we're down there, the traitor will surely try to destroy the Night Mother, and I must stop the traitor at all costs. Don't worry, that's exactly what we're going to do. But not before quick saving. Right, let's head on down. Dearest Night Mother, most unholy maiden, please, we beg your mercy in this our time of need. The Black Hand seeks your guidance. Ah, yes, I have been expecting you. The listener now kneels by Sithis, as does his successor. There is a traitor amongst you. The traitor is dead, dear mother. We have come now to ask your blessing. Anoint one of us your listener so we can restore the Black Hand. Foolish. Lucian Lachance served Sithis to his dying breath. The Black Hand remains tainted by betrayal. Restoration is impossible. Enough. Enough of this. You will all suffer for the pain you have caused me. I will destroy your Night Mother, and the Dark Brotherhood will fall. Well, that's one dead. That's another dead. The traitor still lives. It is Matthew Bellamont. Do not let him harm your Night Mother. Kill him. Yeah, the thing is, he can't actually hurt the Night Mother. Oh, 
gosh, okay, this guy's doing some damage. Let's, uh... Okay, so the traitor Matthew Bellamont is dead and the crisis that has plagued the Dark Brotherhood is now over. The Night Mother still needs to name a new listener and I should wait to hear what she has to say. What did he have on him? Where's his weapon gone? Iron longsword, dagger of numbing. That so, at last we meet. I have been following your strange journey through the Dark Brotherhood, young one. Your killing of the old man Bane, the execution of Adamus Villader, the way you stalked and murdered each member of the Draconis family. Your purification of the Jaden Hall Sanctuary. You, a mere underling, even managed to single-handedly eliminate half of my black hand. Yeah, not on purpose. Uh, yeah, ah, I reveled in their slaughter. Now, I live only to serve the black hand. I know, dear child, I know. You carried out your orders to the letter in the name of the Black Hand. How could I be anything but happy with you? No, my anger lies with the rest of my children. You see, I have known of Matthew Belmont's intentions since he was just a boy. I knew of his thirst for vengeance. I could have informed my listener, but I refused. Refused to reward such incompetence. Ungolin was weak. Indeed, I allowed Matthew Bellamont to proceed on his destructive course, just as I allowed you to intercept him. Uh, but why, honored Night Mother? Don't you see? Our dread father foresaw your defeat of the traitor here in this very crypt. You have been chosen. You are to be my new listener. Ooh. You possess strength and cunning and a heart as black as midnight. You were marked by sickness the moment you emerged from your mother's womb. Alright, okay, that's a bit deep. Uh, so what happens now, unholy matron? Go, take a few moments to collect yourself. Meditate upon all that has transpired. Help yourself to any treasures this crypt may offer. Oh, thanks. When you are ready, speak with me again, and I will deliver you safely to the only place you can truly call home. The Jaden Hall Sanctuary. There is much work to be done, and when you are back in the Sanctuary, speak with Arquen. She will serve as your humble servant and guide. Okay, so we get an opportunity here to loot some bits and bobs. Before we do that, I need to put on my seeing necklace. We are going to finish up here in just a few moments uh, because this is uh, overrunning somewhat. Okay, arrows of sparks. I'll take claymore of sparks. It's not brilliant, but I'll take it anyway. Fortress shield and a grand soul gem. Not bad. This one. Jade Topaz Ring, Potion of Sorcery, and another Grand Soul Gem. I will take that as well. Did he have anything on him? Uh, just some gold. This guy, again, just some gold. There's a couple of books here. The Five Tenants, Brothers of Darkness, more Arrows of Shocking, Battle Axe of Weakness, worth quite a bit, and a nice shield, something else that's worth a little bit doesn't appear to be anything else is that it yeah okay you've returned I trust you've weighed the importance of your new position for you will soon hear words that will change lives alter destinies and I hope you've taken everything you desire from my crypt once you leave you will be unable to return now are you ready to begin your new life yeah, I'm ready. Send me to Sanctuary. Now begins your true journey. We will soon become very intimate, you and I. <laughs> All right, Grim.
Before I send you away, however, I would like to present you with a rather special reward. Go on then. I see you still possess the Blade of Woe, the weapon given you by losing the chance when you first met. Allow me now to unlock its true power. Yes, you will now find the Blade of Woe a bit more potent than it was. Now go. Leave this crypt and serve our dread father till your dying breath. Ah, so we've just had an upgrade for our Blade of Woe. So Arquin and I have been teleported to the Chadenhall Sanctuary. I should speak now with Arquin, who will serve as my servant and guide in the days to come. So let me just pause it here. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please do all those lovely social media things. Please like, comment, share, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you next time for more of our Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion playthrough, where I think we are going to go and seek redemption. All will be explained in the next episode. But until then, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.